got a half a cup of butter softened. We've got some oats. We've got our brown sugar substitute, which I had, I had not used this before. And it's, you can see it's basically the same as the other brown sugar. It went right into the um, measuring cup. All right, we're going to put that in. That was a fourth of a cup. We're going to go ahead and put our butter in. Plop that in. Okay, and our egg. Let's see. And I did also use um, buttermilk instead of butter. I mean, buttermilk instead of milk. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, we're going to cream this. Okay. And everything in this recipe was basically the same as any other recipe. All right. I need vanilla. What did I do with the vanilla? Ah, way over here. Thank you. Woo. Okay. Here's our whole wheat flour. Our uh, fat-free buttermilk and our what is this? baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to mix this all in a bowl. Because okay. this is all our dry ingredients. And our oats. Nice. Okay. Mix this up a little bit. So we'll make it, this will make it just a little bit easier to add. Instead of going a little flour, a little oats. All right. And as you can see, this looks pretty good. Light and fluffy. We will go ahead and add our egg. And our vanilla. Okay. And like I said, instead of the chocolate chips, I did find a dark chocolate um, sweetened with Splenda and it says no sugar carbs and I just merely chopped this up that on while we're doing this. I'll leave the wrapper out here in case anybody wanted to look at that. And I didn't crunch it too small because it's supposed to be like chocolate chips. Okay, now we'll go ahead and we'll put a little of this in. I'll 
I'll turn this off. Scrape this down one more time. Okay. And I add the rest of this. Okay. And then we're going to add our chips. Okay. Yay, everything's done. Okay. All right, now when I made these earlier, I um, just dropped them by teaspoonfuls. didn't flatten out too much. Now you could shape these if you wanted to. In fact, I'm going to flatten them out a little bit just because I think they'll look a little bit better. That was one of the things that, um, like I said, I've never tried this recipe before. Um, coming out of the oven, I didn't think they looked as attractive as they could, but they were very, they, they're very delicious. This is a kind of a soft dough, and again, you could stick it in the refrigerator. Okay, we're just gonna kind of pat it down a little bit. Make them just a little bit more round. Okay, looks good. All right, we're gonna get those in the oven, and I think we've got a we got about seven minutes on that. 